If you weren't aware, the Yealink EHS62 is an accessory you add with your WH64 wireless headset, so you can connect with third-party desk phones like Cisco, Avaya, Poly, and many others. So today we'll show you exactly how it gets set up. Before getting into the setup though, it can be very easy to order incompatible headsets. So if you wanna verify if the EHS62 is gonna be compatible with your desk phone, contact us today and we can assist. As you'll see when you open the box, there's gonna be a number of different cords, which can be pretty confusing on setup and may require you to look at the instructions longer than you want, which is why we're making this video to help save you some time. Yealink took a little bit of a different approach and they included all the cords in one box to make it convenient versus having one specific part number for Poly and then another specific part number of a cord that's gonna be compatible with Cisco, for example. So everything's in one box to make it nice and convenient, but there's a bit of a downside with that, which when you first get the cords, it can be a little bit more confusing on setup. But again, that's why we're making this video and we'll jump into the setup guide now. The very first thing you wanna start off by doing is connect the EHS62 to your compatible Yealink wireless headset charging base. When connecting the EHS62 to a compatible polyphone, you're gonna take out two of the cords. The first one is gonna be the RJ9 to RJ9, which has two small plastic clips. The second cord is gonna have what looks like an ethernet plug on one end and these five pins on the other. So take the cord that has the RJ9 with the small clips, connect it to the EHS62, and then connect the other end to the back of your poly phone where it shows the picture of headphones. Then you'll connect the ethernet looking plug to the EHS62, and then connect the five pins in the back of the phone, and you have to line it up properly. It can only go one way. So there's two pins on the top, three on the bottom, connect it, and then you're set up. Once the cords are set up, there's a setting within your phone you'll need to enable. So you'll wanna go to your settings of your phone, click basic, preferences, headset, and then you'll wanna go to hook switch mode. Once you're in hook switch mode, you'll wanna set the path to either Jabra or Sennheiser. If you go back one screen, if your poly phone has a setting called headset memory, you wanna make sure this is enabled as well. When connecting to a Cisco phone, you'll find the cord that has two cords on one end and another two cords on the other, which are joined together. The side that has the ethernet connection, plug that into the EHS-62, connect the other end to the EHS-62 and the only port it can go into. Then you'll take the other end of this cord and you'll see both cords look very similar, but one is an RJ9, which goes into your headset port. The other one is then gonna go into the aux port. And that's it, you're set up. For compatible Avaya and Grandstream phones, find the cord that has only the RJ9 plug on both ends. Take one end of the cord and connect it to the EHS-62. And then take the other end and connect it into the back of your Avaya or Grandstream phone where it has the picture or wording that says headset. Both Grandstream and Avaya is gonna require you to turn on a setting within the phone. So starting with Avaya, there's two possible paths that you can go to enable the setting. You wanna to go to settings, audio, headset signaling, switch hook and alert on. Or the second way is to go to options and setting, call settings, headset signaling, switch hook and alert on. For Grandstream, you have to do this on the server side. So what you'll do is you'll go to set headset key mode to default mode or headset hands-free mode. Set headset type to Plantronics EHS and then set always ring speaker to yes. For connecting with compatible Mitel phones, you'll take out the cord that looks like it has an ethernet and an RJ9 plug on one end, and then the other end is its own connection. So you'll take the ethernet looking connection and plug it into the EHS62 in the only port that it can go into. You'll take the small connection and connect that to the EHS62. I didn't have a Mitel phone for this video, unfortunately, but you'll see on the screen, there will be an image of exactly where the other end of the cord for the EHS62 will go into. In the back of the Mitel phone, there will be a headset port. You'll take this cord and then plug it into where it says headset or shows an icon of a headset. From there, there's some settings you need to adjust within your Mitel phone. So go to your Mitel phone in the settings interface, press audio, 
audio mode to select headset or speaker slash headset or headset slash speaker. Then return to settings interface, press audio, go to headset to select DHSG as on, and you're good to go from there. When you have a Yealing desk phone and you get a Yealing wireless headset, typically they're gonna be plug and play out of the box without the need for the EHS-62. But in some cases, you still may need the EHS-62 for the headset to work. So if that's your case, what you'll do is take out two cords. One has RJ9 on each end, the other end has the ethernet looking plug. So take that connection, plug it into the EHS-62, then take the small looking RJ9 cord and plug it into the EHS-62. You can't make a mistake, they can only go in one port. From there, you're gonna take the RJ9 plug and then connect it into the back of your Yealing phone where there's the headset icon, or it will actually say headset. And then the other cord will go into the back of your Yealing phone where it says EXT or EHS. Once the EHS-62 is set up, to answer and end calls, it's extremely easy. All you would do is when there's an incoming call, press the call control button once, and to end that call, you'd press the same button. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, drop us a comment below or feel free to contact us. And if you found the video helpful, give it a like as it helps support our company and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more videos like this in the future.